Guys, welcome back to the channel. Slightly different video for tonight because I'm currently in Palmer. So the usual video that I'd put out on a Friday night doing the full yacht tour with the drone footage and everything else, that'll be coming out next week. But what I thought I would do is give you a sneak peek around this brand new XPM 78. This is hole number two. She's called Vanguard. And I'm sure that many of you who subscribe to my channel have followed the journey of this boat. As I say, she was launched a few months ago and it was about last year I was over in Naval Yachts on board the boat before she was launched. So anyway, I've come back today to film the full boat tour video, but let's go on board and I'll show you around. This is just a sneak peek. If you want to see the full yacht tour, that will be uploaded in the next week or two. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And also I want to give a massive shout out to Reese as well. Reese is the owner's son and he's currently behind the camera. So he's my cameraman for the next 10 minutes. So thanks Reese. Anyway, come with me. Obviously, Passerelle on the starboard side. We're going to board. I'm not going to take you in the engine room. Reese will give you a bit of a sneak peek in there. He actually knows a lot about the machinery on this boat. Uh, he's a budding engineer, so look out for his name in a few years. I'm sure he'll be popping up. But come on, Reese, let's show them. Obviously, we've got a swim platform over here, a really decent sized swim platform as well. Uh, as you can see, we're stern two at the moment in this particular marina. But you'll be seeing on the full video that I released in a couple of weeks, this boat is really well suited to an owner operator. Very easy to handle, the lines are really straightforward to work and you can see how everything is laid out at the moment. Um, it's just really easy to work with. But Reese, you wanna give me a little peek into the engine room? Now that is pretty much where you spend most of your time, right? Yeah. Tinking around. Tell me a little bit about the engines that are fitted to the boat, Reese. Well, we have two John Deere turbocharged engines that are connected to an electric motor that drop down into a single gearbox. We have twin engines and they are hybrids. And for people that don't know what hybrid means, what is hybrid engine? Hybrid engines is a mix of an electric and a diesel engine. Fantastic. So yeah, on this boat we have got the latest technology and I'm really looking forward to showing you around the engine room. But again, that will come in the full top. And Reese, what is your favorite part of the engine room? Apart from the engines, what's your next favorite part? Hmm, probably messing about with all the breakers. The breakers, Breakers yeah. and all the wires. It's interesting, it's really interesting. And how old are you, Reese? 15. 15, there we go, guys, look. Like I say, we've got a budding engineer on board. Screwdriver into that. <laughs> yeah. So look, we're on the boat deck. Now, one of the reasons why I wanted to shoot this video at this time is because the video that I shot today was obviously during the day, so in sunlight. I wanted to show you what this boat looks like at night. Over on the port side, obviously, we've got the boat deck. We've got an absolutely stunning high fill tender. Uh, Reese, again, expert coxswain on this boat. We're going to go out tomorrow, aren't we, Reese? And going to do a bit of a mini sea trial in the morning. Reese is going to be on this, getting some good shots for us for the full video that I'm going to be uploading in a couple of weeks. But yeah, I mean, I absolutely love this tender. Uh, this is the sort of thing that I would go out in really rough weather in. And in fact, Reese, what is the roughest conditions that you've taken this out in so far? Well, and how does she handle? She handles like a chump. <laughs> She's got an aluminium bottom section that just slices through the waves. Yeah, slices through those waves. And she's fast, right? What's the top speed? The top speed I've got her up to is 34. Wow, 34 knots. And it was starting to waggle. Oh, yeah, I bet it was. And you said about a little bit of cavitation as well. You know it's yes, a bit of cavitation. Going around a corner, we're turning sharply at cavitation. Yeah, yeah. No, it's something you definitely find a lot on fast boats. You do those tight turns, you get the mm -hmm. cavitation. But, yeah, so look really really good sociable area here and i really love the indirect lighting that we've got on the overhang i think it sets a really really nice relaxing scene so me reese reese's mum and dad the owners of the boat and the captain we've just had some dinner on board uh up on the flybridge so we're not going to go up there just yet you don't have to wait for the full video for the flybridge but as you can imagine with the lighting like this in this marina in palma it's just such a relaxing place to be and I think 
lighting on a boat is often underestimated. I think too many people don't put enough effort into how a boat is lit at night, but I really like the lighting on this boat. And over here, we've got a grill, a nice handy little grill here, which has been used a lot. As I say, this boat was only launched a few months ago, but you wouldn't know that has been used because that is very clean. Your dad's done a really good job keeping that nice and clean. And your mum, obviously. He probably did most of the cleaning, let's be honest. Um, so yeah, we've got an L-shaped seating area over here. And what do you think? Should we give him a little sneak peek of the saloon? Yeah, go on, Reese, go and show him. Don't go in there, just go up to the window, give him a little bit of a sneak peek. Because this is actually the first time I've seen it at night as well, look at that. Again, all that indirect lighting on the overhead. A beautiful helm position as well. Have you driven this boat yet, Reese? Yes, I have. Yeah. What she likes to drive? Well, it was in hydraulic steering, so it was very hard. Ah, oh, that's, that's... But it was smooth. That's a story for another time, that is. Right, let's come over this way. Another thing as well is the deck here, obviously finished in a non-skid finish here. So if it does get wet up here, if you're punching through the big stuff or you're in a following seas, you're not gonna be slipping up all over the place, which again is a really important safety feature. And this boat is all about safety. It's about long distance autonomous cruising. And we'll go more or go into more detail about the safety capabilities and features of the boat when we do the full yacht tour. But, Reese, follow me. Let's come down the starboard side deck. Oh, actually, look, that's one of the things I wanted to show. Look, look at that. The indirect lighting on the deck. I absolutely love it. I think it just creates a really, really nice feel. All right, let me jump in front of you. All right, let's come with me. We'll probably give them a little bit of a look in the saloon as well, because again, you get a really good feel for how this boat is lit. Look at that. I must remember actually to get some footage in there which I can cut into the main video. And obviously the helm station again all lit up, look at that. All that technology. Yeah, your parents have done an amazing job with the finish on this boat. I just think everything about it just says, let's go out in the rough stuff. The kind of weather conditions that keep other people tied up alongside, let's go out and enjoy it. That's what this boat says to me. Right, let's move up to the four peak. Oh look, there's your cabin in there, Reese. Look as well. Now, how is that for a view at night, Reese? When you're in there, underway, do you get a good view of the starlit sky at night? Yes, very, very good view. And do you normally have this hatch open when you're underway, as long as it's calm, obviously, to get some fresh sea air in there? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you fall asleep quickly, right? <laughs> yeah, I bet, yeah. And look, let's show them the uh, the flybridge as well. So, guys, so this is where we had our meal earlier on this evening. As you can see, it's got a massive hardtop up there. So, if you are like me, you're a bit of a sun dodger and you prefer to be out in the midday sun, uh, that is a great place to go and have a nice meal, a nice drink, and just relax, really. But look, look at the profile as well. And when I was telling you earlier on, about safety, look, you've literally got grab rails everywhere. So if you do have to come out on the upper deck whilst you're underway and it is quite rough, you've still got plenty to hang on to, which of course is really important. You can't see it now. You've got loads of solar panels on the superstructure as well. And if you are interested, under that cover is a FLIR. So forward looking infrared camera, again, a really, really important safety feature. But yeah, so that is the upper deck. How many minutes are we up to now? How many minutes is that? Eight minutes, 55. Oh, perfect. Right. So yeah, the point of this video is just give you a bit of a sneak peek with the owner's son, Reese, behind the camera, give you a look around the upper deck, show them as well, Reese. Look, should pan out and show them the marina. Look at that. What a beautiful place. And how many weeks have you been here for now? A couple of weeks, right? Two weeks. Two weeks. What a place to spend a couple of weeks, just as the season starts to wind down as well. So guys, look, make sure you subscribe to the channel. As I say, the full Yacht Tour video will be coming out in the next week or two. This was just a bit of an impromptu, informal thing, just to show you around, to give you a bit of an idea of what to expect with this boat. And more importantly, to show you what she looks like at night. Reese, you've done a fantastic job. Thanks for being my cameraman. Everyone, please make sure you subscribe. Until next time, fair winds and following seas. Well done, Reese. good job.